right once again good morning everyone in today's class we are going to practice filing 24 q in the last class we have calculated payroll for employees and we also calculated basic salary pf esi and during this calculation we also deducted tds you remember and from Kiran Gangaram, we have deducted, let's say, approximately 20,000 income tax plus 817 rupees education says and the zero surcharge. And here, for, if you see the employee, Bala Sahib Ramakishan Karam, whose monthly salary more than 30 lakhs. So more than 2 crore per annum at the same time plus HRA plus all other contributions this you know, the salary of kiran uh, the salary of bala sahib crossed to 5 crore so we also calculated surcharge on him you got my point so you also need to convert these pay sheet data to the format of tds for tds what information we required from pay sheet we need to collect employee names i have collected employee uh, names and employee codes and we also collected salary paid how much salary paid to these people kiran gangaram there are some salaries i have reported if you see that in the color here i have taken just for example you see on screen what is the salary paid? 1,45,165. Is 1,45,165, is it net salary or gross salary? We need to report. We need to consider what the net salary. Gross earnings minus all other deductions. After all the deduction, whatever net salary you have paid to each employee, you need to note down here. Okay, the salaries paid or salaries credited. Out of the chart, that salary, we already deducted some TDS and we already calculated some CES. If any surcharge is applicable, you also need to calculate here. Okay, this is a sample data. Here also a sample data. Okay, again, don't compare here. Anand Kotakanda, here in this top sheet, Anand Kotakanda, there is no income tax deducted but just to make you understand the process i have collected some basic sample information okay as per the above sheet anand kotakunta salary paid was how much it is only 14,543. but just to make you understand the filing of 24q i have taken anand kotakunta salary paid as 1 lakh 45,001. So don't compare pay sheet data with the employees. In reality, you need to consider these pay sheet data as salaries declared. Okay. Just for sample, I have taken random inputs. So don't compare these pay sheet salaries with these salaries paid. Just to me, yeah. So for filing TD statements from the pay sheet, you need to collect employee code if available employee name an employee pan card total net salary paid out of tds tds includes three columns one is income tax search and a surcharge to whom surcharge is applicable any employee who is taking the gross income from salary greater than not only from salary whose income is more than 50 lakhs are subject to deduct even surcharge also. If any surcharge is calculated, uh, you also need to deduct it. Okay. And after that, you also need to confirm what is the date of salary paid. Mostly we'll pay on month end, maybe in the next month, first year, next month, fifth also. Okay. So consider we paid April salary paid on 30th of April and the TD is deposited on what date? Huh. So I will start this class from TDS deposits onwards. Okay, look. So now we are going to deposit these taxes to government. To deposit taxes, what you should have? You should have a TAN card. 
yes our company name ss enterprises name of the company ss enterprises but do you consider the name of the trade or do you consider legal name as per pan for filing tds return what what name you need to consider the trade name or the legal name the legal name what is s fourth character here so i will write name as per the pan is sandhya sangulla Sandhya Sangulla is a PAN card holder name because it is a proprietorship. I need to go by the owner's name. When it comes to firm, firm name will be printed on PAN card. So go by firm name. If it is company, company name. only for proprietorship. Don't go by the business name. Go by the owner name. Next, uh, PAN card. PAN card information also provided here. I copy paste into my sheet. and what more we need our company tan card yeah so company name uh, organization name as per the pan sandhya sangulla pan card available tan card also available look in the month of april look at the screen very clear i'm going to uh, remove the decimal places yeah in the month of april total net salary paid how much 4,47,565 rupees in the month of april total salaries paid how much 4,47,565 so after paying salaries to all the employees from each employee, the applicable TDS we will deduct. Yes. So total TDS deducted, including all the employees, was 62,754. Uh, uh, 62, and total sales deducted 2,510 rupees. And there is no surcharge. If surcharge applicable, you also need to deduct it. Two things you should understand here. Are you going to deposit all these taxes in a single chalan or in multiple chalans? If you deposit total this income tax 62,754 and 2,510 rupees together, you need to note down same chalan numbers to all the employees and the same BSR code. But instead of that, if you deposit 17,625 separately and 17,625 plus 705 separately, you need to note down the individual chalan details. If you donate total amount in a single chalan, you need to note down same BSR code, same chalan number to all the employees. I will show you both. Let's say in the month of April, Total amount is going to be deposited in single chalan. How you do that now? Look, what is the total April amount? 62,000. 62,754 plus says 2510. So what is the total chalan amount to payable to government for the month of April? 65,264. So where we can deposit the amount we directed, we can deposit on e-portal income tax dot gov dot in. I will take you to login hyds 68427c. Is it the same number? hyds 68427c. So I go to continue, accept the confirmed password. I Let's say I am in the month of April. I am in the month of April. I have paid salaries in May. Okay, I paid salaries on 30th of April and I am going to deposit with the government on 2nd May. Consider I am as on 2nd May going to deposit taxes with government. Imagine this. How and where we can deposit? Go to e-file. Next what? 
income e pay tax and go to again where go to e file e pay tax after the payment you can check the payment information you can check individual chalan by going to payment history and i will take you to make a new payment next to payment history can you see chalan status to download total chalans for entire quarter will go to csi file to download individual chalan go to payment history now i would like to make a payment for april so i'll take you to new payment an assessment here 2425 pay tds proceed okay and uh, what is the section applicable for us 192a state government employees 192c central government union government employees the applicable section for private employees is 192b okay other than any government employees so 192b i click on the button continue and the payment code regular payment demand payment yeah regular payment it's a regular payment so payment code is 200 and then go to so our our employee are all of our employees are company directee or other than company directee our employees always other than company they are individuals right our employees always individual so they are other than companies what is the code of for them 21 remember this yeah for, let's say i'm for the month of april i am going to deposit total amount in a single chalan for all the employees so what is the total amount 65264 out of income tax 62000 754 copy paste and there is no surcharge available but there is a cess available i will declare the cess also how much 2510 okay and click on the button continue in reality you need to make a full payment but i'll make one rupee consider i'm making total payment okay So I click on the button again, pay UPI. Any one of you please scan. Continue. Pay now. Once the payment is done, you will receive this kind of chalan. Consider for the month of April, total amount 65,000 rupees paid in a single chalan. Okay. So what is your duty here is, you need to note down triple zero double two seven one apostrophe triple zero double two seven one that is the same thing for all the employees and the chalan number zero three seven eight zero zero three seven eight zero same chalan number for all the employees and you also need to note down what is the total chalan, uh, chalan tax amount and the chalan cess amount while explaining the chalan you should explain the chalan number and the total amount while explaining individual person you need to explain this amount the individual amount should match with the total chalan amount okay consider again consider in the month of may you deposited chalans person by person in the month of april for total employees only one chalan you got my point in the month of april for total employees there is only one chalan consider for the month of may you have deposited chalans by person by person so bsr code remains same because same sbi will make payment Let's say the upper one seller number is what? 781, 781. In the above, for every employee, same seller number, same BSR code. Consider here, zero, uh, apostrophe, 03781, 
apostrophe zero three seven eight one. Look here. Here I also added extra column total chalan amount. Sorry, total chalan amount. Total salary no need. Total chalan chalan in tax amount, cess amount. There is no employee here, but I have mentioned total income tax total and total cess total and the applicable BSR code and chalan number. So while explaining April. The chalan I should explain is only one chalan for April. For how many employees? One, one, two, three, four, five. For five records, there is only one chalan. For which month? Records five chalans. One. You got my point. So total here. This is one, two, three, four, five. Five members amount deposited in a single chalan. Okay, remember. But in the month of May, consider you have deposited each chalan individually. Uh, you deposited seventeen six twenty five plus says separately, so you'll get a separate chalan number zero three seven eight one. And again, consider you deposited eleven thousand forty six plus says separately. 03782. Can you see here common chalan numbers and here unique chalan numbers? Consider again in the month of April, you have deposited the total chalan amounts in a single payment. So, what is the total amount? Total chalan amount here 38,525 plus says 1541. Consider in this month of June, you have deposited all together in a single chalan. So here 785, so I'll go by 03786 for same, same, same. Here also same, same. Total amount 38,000 plus. What is the total amount? 38,000 plus because Chalan information is most important. If you maintain data in this way only, it will become easy to explain to government. You should have an idea. Yes, in the month of April, you paid total five records in a single chalan. In the month of April, what is the total chalan count? Only one. In the month of May, one, two, three, four. For five people, how many chalans you made? Five chalans. So April chalan count one. May chalan count five. Are you understanding? What I'm trying to say. Total amount here individual. In the month of May, consider you paid person by person. So April for five employees, only one chalan. For May, for five employees, five chalans. For June, one, two, three. For three records, you have again one chalan. You remember this point. It's very important. Okay. Consider you have this information with you. You have the complete information of TD statements for April, May and June. Now you need to. So April completed, May completed, June also completed. You have deducted TDS, deposited TDS, downloaded chalan. You also noted down the respective information. Now we are going to explain to government. You let me know what is the total chalan counts. April 1 plus May 5 plus so total I am going to explain 7 chalans total 7 chalans and you let me know okay we'll, uh, uh, let, let it be we'll go to the portal what is the process to prepare tedious returns from step 5 quarterly process starts what is qu uh, first step here Okay, so uh, here we already completed up to downloading chalan, maintaining chalan, records is done. Okay, next TDS return preparation. What is the first thing to do? Download and install Java before preparing a return. Prior to prepare TDS returns, I'll go to my settings of my laptop. I will take you to apps. 
you always need to uninstall the old version if any old versions available in your laptop you always first remove the old java before installing the new java latest chip every quarter you need to uninstall old java and you need to reinstall the new java you always remember this point okay yeah so old java was uninstalled and what is the software one more win there also old java uninstalled win there also and install now i'll take you to the new one and before the things i go to this my downloads so in the downloads I'm going to prepare one, one is in the name of tedious returns. Quarter one, 24Q. What is 24Q? Tedious statements on salary. And I need to prepare right click, new, one what? Draft to folder and one final folder remember yeah i'll go to what is the first software you need now we are going to prepare the return to prepare the return first you need to download the required software first one is what download and install java right click on the link open link in a new tab it will take you to java website download java and install download java the latest version is going to be downloaded only download or also installation you also need to complete the installation process so download java yeah now java is available in my downloads folder i'm going to i'm going to double click on java setup file and install java is going to be installed in my computer install so it is always important to uninstall old applications to reinstall with the latest updates because in between if there you know if something changed uh, that you know that you, that you should use so always you remember you need to uninstall the old applications you have downloaded and installed uh, before prior to prepare the returns you always need to install the new one now you have successfully installed java java downloaded installed so i will delete this setup file from my downloads i no need to keep it because i downloaded i also installed it next one close what is the next software download and install winrar again use the link why do we use winrar to zip and unzip the files to lock unlock the files go to again download download winrar download unverified file no problem now the winrar is successfully downloaded i'm going to double click on winrar to install accept the permissions install okay yeah winrar is also installed so i will delete delete this set of file second software also completed next what is third software you required the main software for return preparation is rpu return preparation utility so go to the link 4.1 4.9 what you should do with this download and extract rpu after downloading you don't directly double click on it don't try to open this don't try to do anything with this simply right click and here extract here so out of this zip file a common folder will be created and i'm moving this folder to my returns folder okay so in my quarter 124q i have draft folder i have final folder i have even TDS RP version 4.9 folder also available. Now, can I delete this zip file? Yes. Zip ko nikal diya. Right. Next one. The last one and important one. I'm explaining challenge. 
is a challans really paid on our tan card we need to have some proof so for the proof what you need to download you need to download csi what is csi challan status enquiry file i need to check whether i could download csi file or not so what is the path visit e portal dot income tax dot gov dot in visit e portal dot income tax dot gov dot in and then log in via our company tan card we have given the tan card hyds 68427c and we also given the password ganga at the rate one yamuna use a uh, tan card use a password and log into the portal and how you can download csi go to e file e pay tax challan status enquiry file go to e file then e pay tax to check individual challan go to payment history to collect total overall challans go to csi challan status enquiry file to make a new payment go to payment i i need to download the challan so i go to challan status enquiry file and i click on the button payment date what is the quarter period i need to download challan files for april from 1st april to but one thing i want to make you update if i select till 30th of june see the problem most of the students do the mistakes look at the screen here for june chalan when you have deposited with the government april 1st to june if you deposit on 3rd july if you download chalans by 30th june how it is going to be validate got my point so you need to select for the first quarter what was the last challan date paid ah huh. so remember this point i need to collect the challan till what ah huh. july 3 is my last date so i will collect the challan by july 4th most of the people do this mistake it's correct if payment done in between 1st of april to 30th june it's okay but the june payment i have time to deposit by 7th of july if subsequent month 7 is the due date so for the month of june you have deposited with the government on 3rd july so while downloading chalan report if you download only for 30th uh, till 30th it is not going to be covered so again you will get error so make sure for the quarter 1 till what date you have done the payments uh, so 1st april se lekar 4th july i'm taking then download chalan file now my csa file is downloaded you got my point most of the students made mistakes here so till april may everything will be fine but for the month of june the validation will not be completed so make sure yeah now i have downloaded csi file i i will also move these to my quarter one so in this quarter one i have draft one final one rpu plus my csi so with this help we are going to complete our written process right so i think we completed fifth step downloading required resources whatever is necessary we have completed next what is the sixth step whatever data you have maintained in the excel you need to dump to rpu in the end you need to validate with the csi and you need to generate fvu in final folder then you need to upload in the portal correct right so i have excel data and then so what do you do here launch tds rpu version file from rpu folder launch tds rpu version file from tds rpu folder from where 
downloads go to downloads quarterly returns we have rpu folder from rpu what i need to launch here uh, launch tds rpu version what is the version i have 4.9 so go to rpu and launch here tds rpu version 4.9 only if java already installed in your computer you may access this okay now what we are going to explain 24q salaries 26q other than salaries 27 for nris we never use it and 27eq is for tcs sometimes we also need to collect tcs now we are deducting tds but when it comes to tcs we collect tcs that needs to be collected from the let's say i am working in a car showroom if i am selling any car greater than 10 lakhs to any customer from the customer i should collect car value plus extra 1% tcs so whatever tcs i collected i need to deposit with the government just now we deposited and download the chalan note down customer name customer pan card and explain in 27 eq same process tds we deduct tcs we collect that's it that is only the change i will take you to what we are going to do now salaries so go to 24q and regular and click to continue we have successfully launched this and we need to dump data of excel all excel data you have prepared dump to rpu in the end what do you do validate with the csi so i'm going to close unnecessary fields yeah it's okay clear i think everything is clear online so i need to have this excel data and the rpo we need to fill how many again form if you see the notes we see fill form chalan and deduct the details during filling of the pages use a button what save to save as a draft after filling all the pages click on create file so i already maintain a draft to folder i also maintain a final folder now i'm going to dump excel data to rpo so first what it is asking tan number so go to excel i am going to collect the tan number of the company paste next for which year 23 24 okay for which quarter quarter 1 and then uh, next type of deductor what is our company pan card fourth character a i j p p for we are our company pan card fourth character is i so go to individual next name name of the employer uh, ss enterprises or sandhya sangulla trade name or the legal name legal name what is the branch i'll go by sikandrabad next flat number all the information is necessary you, you don't waste your time uh, by providing all you uh, fill only the star indicators okay pin code state telangana no don't provide any telephone number but you should provide the contact information of yours gmail.com copy here paste and here the pan number of the company copy the pan number paste here in particulars of the statement and also paste here It's same as above owner name sandhya sangulla capacity proprietor correct address changed no address changed no huh address changed no mobile number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah i think all information in this form is provided what we are filing for quarter 1 financial year 23 24 assessment year 24 25 our tan card our pan card our capacity individual our company name sandhya sangulla sandhya sangulla and you provide the uh, necessary information 
gmail.com mobile numbers all provided and where should i click now create your save save click on backup go back go back again go back again go to where downloads quarter 1 24q where should i save draft your final draft 1 open save so i completed form one uh, of page one i saved as a draft then go to chalan now you tell me in total quarter one how many chalans you have to explain in the month of april for all members one chalan for may five chalans for june one chalan all together how many chalans you need to explain seven records click on the button add row seven chalans out of these seven chalans tedious amounts for first chalan for first chalan what is the total in the for, for the month of april is it single or total in a single chalan you have deposited all members so what is the total amount tds amount that is income tax how much 62754 okay and then says amount surcharge here education says okay that is a one i uh, it's 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 clear next go right side go right side go right side for that what is a bsr code and date what is the date of deposit second may chalan serial number single chalan serial number okay remember Payment code 200 yeah 400. It's a regular. So go for 200. I explained April chalan. Okay. In a single chalan, what is the total amount? 62,754. 62,754 belongs to total 5 employees. Okay. But when it comes to May, second. Now I'll keep my cursor on second chalan. In the month of May, total, how many chalans you have? Total five chalans so here you should explain from here income tax to five employees copy paste one record is left that is for what june and go next such as zero next what here education says education here is education says can you see one record is in blank in the end? It's clear. Go right word. Next. BSR code. Five BSR codes. One is blank in the, that is for June. And again, chalan numbers, individual chalans. Can you see the difference? For April, total amount in single chalan. Chalan number how much? Seven, eight, zero. And update of deposits, first June. Next, payment code 200 or 400. It's all 200s. Yeah, I explain individual challenge for June. You are you can see the difference here. This 62,000 amount belongs to single chalan, but here I explained the single amounts along with individual chalan details. Correct? Next. In the month of June, for three employees, how many chalan do you have again? Only a single chalan. So what is the total amount? Total tax tedious 38,525. 38,000. And any says available? Yes, and come right side. BSR code, single BSR code. Date, what is the date of deposit? 3rd July and chalan number, single chalan number for everyone. 
and here is the payment code regular payment to go by you got my point for april single chalan huge amount for may small amounts individual chalans for again june huge amount in a single chalan is it clear ha e to ab tak clear again click on the button save save as a draft one more draft is saved now third page what is third page direct details click on the button insert row here the most crucial thing will happen here you tell me now total how many challenge we have for quarter 1 7 so first challenge we explain how much amount i'll take you to here in challan for first challan number 1 we explained total amount of 62000 so when you go to third page insert row in challan number 1 how many records you should add in challan number 1 you should add how many records five records one challan records five you got my point so here challan number 1 records five april single challan may how many challans in may you have total five challans in june how many challan you have again one challan so the count will be like this for april challan one for may challan total seven you need right yes or no total count is seven out of one plus five plus one total seven out of seven challans april count one then may count starts from 2 to 2 to 6 so 2 3 4 5 6 total five challans and that one challan goes to samajh me aa gaya so in april how many records you have five records which means in challan one five records in challan 2 to 6 How many you have in challan two to six? One is to one. Each challan for each party. So one is to one. In June again one challan for how many members? Three members. So here three. This is number of challans. మీకు అర్థమవుతున్న ఇది ఎందుకు ఇంపార్టెంట్ అంటే ఇక్కడ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ చలాన్స్ చలాన్ సీరియల్ నంబర్స్ చలాన్ రికార్డ్స్ again it is most you should understand only if you understand this you can explain to government so in april total five records paid in a single chalan count will be one records five in the month of may total how many employees 1 2 3 4 5 5 total again april also five employees may also five employees but in the month of may for five employees we paid amount in total how many chalans five chalans paid but the count goes to out of total seven chalans in a quarter one chalan one belongs to april chalan 2 to 6 belongs to may and the last chalan comes to june in april in chalan one five records in may chalan number 2 to chalan number 6 each chalan each party in june chalan 1 count to 7 records 3 okay so remember this now i will take you to this page now i need to explain i click on the button insert row and here i will take you to excel look so in chalan 1 you see very clear in chalan 1 how many records needs to be added five yes clear chalan one five records 
in chalan 2 to chalan 6 how many records 1 1 1 1 sami agya in last chalan in chalan number 7 for the month of june how many records you need to add this is what i'm trying to explain chalan count starts from april to june chalan 1 to 7 chalan 1 belongs to april five records because all the amount deposited together chalan in the month of may we have made five chalans so count goes from 2 to 6 each chalan each party so total records one in the month of june chalan count is seven all three employees we deposited 88 times so count chalan number seven records number three you got my point huh. i click on the button okay now you see total if you see for chalan number one one two three four five five added for chalan number two only one record Chalan 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 1, this one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this Chalan belongs to which month? April. April month. In the month of May, how many Chalans we made? 5 Chalans, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chalan count 2 to 6 belongs to May. In the month of June, 3, three employees three employees deposited in a single Chalan. 1, 2, 3. Chalan number 7. You got my point? Now you need to explain here person wise. Chalan 7. Right. Here. First I will explain. Look. For the month, what is the Chalan you used? Look now here. As per out of this 65,264, this 65,264 belongs to all, this belongs to same salary, yes or no? So what is the section? 192B, because we are a private employees. Copy, select all of them, control V, paste. Control C copy, shift down arrow, select all cells, control V, paste. Paste not working. Yeah. Next. Go right what? Here. Employee records. Employee reference names. For April 5 employee course, if you have course, you fill. If you don't have, keep it blank. April 5 records up to 65,000. Yes. Can you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 records? Next for May, again copy paste. For the month of May, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. For the month of June, again 3. Yes. Copy paste. Okay. Next. Pan of the employee. Yeah, pan of the employee for April, five pan cards. Next for May, another five. For June, three. Next, name of the employees for April, five employees. For May also. Five employees for June, three employees. Next, dates. Again, five dates, five dates, three dates. What is the date here? Date of payment, date of salary paid, five dates. Another five dates. Another three dates next amount paid yeah credited means what amount the salary amount okay control select
कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट नहीं हो रहा कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट कॉपी इफ इट इज वर्किंग आई डू लाइक दिस इट्स नॉट वर्किंग बिकॉज देर इज सम स्पेस इन बिटवीन सो टेक इंडिविजुअल मंथ एप्रिल सैलरी स्पेड कॉपी पेस्ट मे सैलरी स्पेड कॉपी पेस्ट जून सैलरी स्पेड कॉपी पेस्ट नेक्स्ट आउट ऑफ द tds amount it's nothing but what tax amount income tax copy paste copy paste here what important here look one minute please wait a minute chalan number 1 65264 65264 out out of this 65264 out of the single chalan the total amount should be match here 55 how much we are expend 62000 taxes plus 2000 all together same amount yes or no here also can you see 65265 so it's it four okay it's, it may be by some mistake there will be no no problem you got my point I deposit in a single chalan, but I am I am transferring to individual part. This is what you should take care. Yeah. So I mean here. So I have completed for April. Next, I also repeat the same for tax amount. But here, individual chalan, individual amount, right? Says copy paste for the month of June. Three records. Three records. Three says, three says. Done clear? You got my point. If you see, there is a common record. Chalan one 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 belongs to five members. Chalan two three four five belongs to single single record. Chalan seven one two three right because seven uh, chalan number seven belongs to three people. Chalan number one belongs to five people. Chalan number two only one record. Only one record you can see. Chalan number three only one record right. so go ahead what next any surcharge be recorded if there is no surcharge please don't uh, keep this blank you fill with the records and go to next i think we done total amount 20 uh, 21235 it is including that one person that one person tds means tax amount plus ses total that will be credited to their person next date of deduction is nothing but date of salary paid before making a payment only we will deduct yes or no five records another five records plus three records five plus five plus three next no certificate number nothing we required we have completed preparation of the return now again click on the button save so after filling all the information you once click on the button what create file if there is any mistakes it will show it is not showing me any mistakes which means everything is clear how it show mistake let's say i forget to fill up the mobile number i save so now if i directly click on the button create file i'll get an error stating that mobile number is so if you missed any necessary field it will highlight by giving a pop up box you need to click on the button and you need to uh, clear the mistakes again save now all the necessary information is provided i click on the button create file now what it is asking me i explain the challans is the challans really paid on this pan card on this pan card i need to have some proof what is the proof we downloaded csi so go to browse browse where it's available csi open and upload where you want to create your final folder where you want to create your final folder browse create i am creating finally in final one open save i click on the button validate
okay now what i generated f v u is generated you need to do what what is the next step to do convert generated f v u file to what format zip format right click on f v u send it to compressed zip now the zip is created can you see a lock belt sign what is the next step to do upload the same on income tax portal how visit e portal dot income tax i already there in the portal and what next go to e file income tax forms file income tax forms go to e file income tax forms file income tax forms whose login it is pan login ya company tan login company tan login and i delete the old draft someone try to upload it's okay e file income tax forms file income tax forms from this you need to scroll down to bottom can you see in the bottom quarterly return 24q 26q so i go uh, deductions of tax at source it is uh, located at bottom click on file now go to bottom click on file now let's get started and what we explained tds on salary and then go to what for which financial year 23 24 for which quarter we have did it quarter 1 regular year correction regular and then click on attach file where the file is available in quarter 1 final 1 converted if you don't upload open if we if we you you always need to convert zip and you need to upload the zip file select the zip file then upload now the zip file is uploaded click on the button proceed to e verify confirm the same and generate aadhar otps and continue accept the declaration generate aadhar otps and confirm the password then our if you really deposit that chalan amounts in your account from your tan card these chalans will be forwarded to the respective persons and the amount will go to their their bank card you got my point this is what you supposed to do what section we explained here form what section we explained here 192b so if you upload returns like this it will reflect in their form 26 as i will show you one of our client i take you to income tax portal adm adm py 2935 ADM P Y three nine two five Y two nine three five Y continue if you. as a employer what we have done we deducted a tds we deposited tds we downloaded chalan we explained chalans we filed returns so the money transferred from our account to their account how they will they can see i filed a return any employee can log into their income tax portal they go to e file income tax return view 26 as confirm accept the declaration view tax credit select the they need to select their assessment year we have declared 20 23 24 financial year it will reflect in their assessment year 24 25 we selected what financial year while filing the return 23 24 so they should check it on 24 25 assessment year html view and here they will see can you see total tax amount if you see here see what is the section available here by what day they are filing for april salary when they deposited 
you got my point salary paid on 30th but whatever tds deducted on 30th of april deposited to government on what date what is actual due date april salary due date may 7th to deposit but but when they deposited so for them there will be a penalty per month they need to deposit 1% so they will deposit the amount plus sorry 1.5% not 1% if the amount is 100 rupees they need to deposit 101.5 rupees so maybe some companies don't deposit immediately they will take some time but you need to deposit any salary belongs to april if salary paid to the employee whatever tds you deducted you need to deposit on or before 7th of may don't deal, don't do any delay like this what section we used 192 b for them it will reflect like this instead of showing here magic magic bus india foundation they will see the name sandhya sangulla you got my point sandhya sangulla deducted tds deposit tds file the return instead of magic foundation they will see what what is the name of the director we are the director the employees are directees so the instead of showing the name magic bus india they will see the name of sandhya sangulla so sandhya sangulla paid salaries to anand kotakonda right like that this is the tds on salaries you do the practicals just for practicals i have given a uh, dummy information but in reality you need to provide all necessary information okay yeah. go go to the lab do the practical see you tomorrow in the next class